Besides finding solutions for values in x, we're often frequently interested in finding minima and maxima. For instance, for the expression x squared plus x minus 1, for what value of x is this function minimized? A graphical solution can give you a quick view that our answer is somewhere around, say, negative 0.8. But we want to have techniques that allow us to locate this with more detail. We're going to use a tool called scipy.optimize.minimize. Like Newton, this is going to accept a function f and a starting guess x0. In code, I've imported matplotlib, numpy, and scipy.optimized. I've defined f as x squared plus x minus 1. And I've set things up so that I can plot this. But the magic is all happening in this line here with x star. x star equals scipy.optimize.minimize f and then x naught set equal to 3. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to plot those values. First off, let's see what happens when I run this block of code. You'll see here that it's identified that particular point very clearly. Now let's take a look at x star x star is something that's set up like a dictionary. It's actually its own kind of thing that scipy.optimize calls an optimize result, but we can treat it like a dictionary because we can grab out particular values like x, in this case, 0.5 is our solution. It tells us x, it tells us the status of the operation, in this case true, it tells us other information like about the method that it's using under the hood or the number of iterations that it required to solve it. And it tells us things like what the value of the function is at that value of x. In general, we're going to talk about values like x star and f star and y star, and these describe our actual optimal points. We'll get more into this in the next lesson when we start discussing what happens when we solve these things by hand when we see what's actually going on in a minimize function. Since minimize only locates minima, you may need to be clever in preparing f when searching for a maximum. For instance, you can negate the function to flip it over. We're starting to see a few tools crop up and it can be difficult to keep track of when and why to use these. Right now we have this table where we're saying if you need to find the minimum of a function, it points you at scipy.optimize.minimize. We're going to see some other techniques in the next few lectures as well, so keep those in mind as we move forward. If you need to find the zero of a function, meaning the solution in the unknowns x and or y, then you use scipy.optimize.newton or our own developed version of Newton or a graphical method. And if you need to find the solution to a function, which is similar to finding the zero of the function, you need to make sure you rearrange to subtract and then you find the zeros as your technique.